Hello everyone, it's Friday, January the 11th, 2019. I sound a little down. Um, yesterday's program seemed to uh, not get the message across that we have to have help in the form of donations, and uh, we may have gotten one. Makes you proud to stand up and fight for your country with that kind of support, I'm telling you. So, I'm a little doubt. I guess you know why. Folks, let me tell you. I don't think you understand. I don't think many of you understand. Of course, some of you do. And some of you have been extremely strong supporters, and I love you for it. But we're not there yet. The part that I think people are having trouble understanding is, do you realize how far away the presidential election of 2020 is? Technically, it's less than two years. Less than two years away, I think. And in 2020, if President Trump loses, it will be over for this country because one of the candidates, whichever Democratic candidate is going to win, that is pretty well cast. They're going to be progressives. And they're coming in for one reason, change our form of government. I mean, it's out there, folks. It's there. And it's going to happen in the twinkle of an eye. As history's time goes, that's why I work so hard. That's why I beg so hard for us to join together. Let's do whatever we've got to do to try to support this president. Now, why I support President Trump? Guys, it's because of what I've told you over and over and over again. It's not Donald Trump that there is this massive outpouring of hate against in Washington. It's not Trump. Trump represents us. Trump is our test. He was our test, our trial putting someone that is not a part of this deep state system that has controlled us and run us down and down and down until we have no place left to go at the bottom. He represents us. We wanted to try a real businessman, a man that has been successful outside of politics. He wasn't brought up, groomed since birth to be the next politician in line. He's us. They don't want us having one bit of say-so in our form of government. They don't want us there. We are to be the pawns. They are to be the elite. And folks, we're so close to that being the case that I'm scared. I'm scared. Not for me as much because I'm not going <clears> to, <throat> I'm not going to live to see the full thrust of us turning into a socialist, communist type government country. I'm not going to live to see it. Any of you won't live to see it. But our children will. And our grandchildren. And we will have taken from them a great, bright future that all of us had at birth. And we will have left them with a big pile of you know what. That they will have to live through. Life won't be a, a great challenge for the young. Not when they take over. No, sir. There won't be opportunity. There won't be an equal shot for greatness for any and everyone in this country as today. It will be relegated 
to tomorrow, they will be no better than they were today. And day after tomorrow, they'll be no better still. They'll stagnate. They will rot. And that will be the gift we will have given them. Is that what we want? Is that what we're leaving to our children and grandchildren? We have got to stand and fight. And I know right now some of you are saying, well, okay, okay, tell us what to do. We'll get in there. We'll fight. We'll fight. It's not that simple. What you have to do is mentally, <clears throat> mentally get ready. Get ready because it's going to come, and it's going to come a day when I've got to know if you want to be a part of what I'm trying to do, not just me, what a group of people that are with me are trying to do, maybe you're trying to do. If, if you want to be a part of it, you've got to get ready because one day soon we will have specific tasks that we have to perform. It will make a difference. It will make a huge difference. But as what I see today, we have become so passive, so laid back, and I just, I worry, I, I just don't see the kind of mindset that's going to be required. And I know when you think, well, Taking donations. Why should anybody help me? You don't have to. There's no doubt about it. You don't have to. And every day that I don't get help, every day it makes it harder for me to do what I do. And you don't even know what that is. You have no idea what I have to go through behind the scenes. You have not a clue. Yes, there's a little bit more to what I'm doing than just every day or so doing this recording. <laughs> There's a lot more. But I turn around and I look at the people helping. And what if yesterday I had made a call? What if yesterday I had made a call and said, folks, everybody that hears me, you have got to make this call and say these words. What would have happened if yesterday I had asked for that and that was what was needed yesterday? And you know what? One person actually does it. Do you know what that would mean? I do. That would mean we lost. And we don't have that many days that we can afford to lose like that. So today I'm going to ask you to do something. I don't care if it's for a dollar. I don't care if it's for two dollars. I wish it was five hundred or a thousand, but whatever. I'm going to say it in as clear spoken words as I can say, I need your help for us to keep this thing going. I do. And I want every one of the people that hear me today. Tonight, I would like to see you show up at PayPal. <clears throat> and if you can't do PayPal, send something in the mail. But remember, try to send cash. Don't send checks. I want everybody that hears me make some contribution to the effort. Please. And at least then I know if how many people make that contribution, then I will know if today was the day that I had to ask you to do that special thing that is needed to win the day for the country. I'll at least know how many people would actually have done it. How's that? How's that for a test? I worry. You know, I worry. I hear a lot of people that in religion kind of talk. They say, don't worry. You know, God's got it. I've read the book. God wins in the end. Yes, he does. I don't deny that at all. I keep going to the words Pastor Ernie Sanders has always taught me, and he always says, faith without works is death. You know, you can say you are, or you can say you're with us, but if you don't do anything, you're not. God's going to have his judgment. He is. And I fear that one day God doesn't get fed up with us and say, that's it. 
That's it. And he brings his wrath down on us. And I'm going to tell you, if you wake up tomorrow and we're in a full-blown socialist slash communist, this new government that the progressives have in store for us, if you wake up in it tomorrow, I can assure you, you will claim God has brought his wrath and you're in hell. Because for us in America to live under that kind of society would be hell right here on earth. So I'm going to ask you today, I'm going to ask us all today, let's all today, this day, let's work as a team, all right? And if there's 2,000 people that listen, then there ought to be half that are at least with PayPal and could send something. I would hope it would be better than half. But I want to know, don't you? Don't you want to hear tomorrow what I tell you? Because if this is a test run, which it is, we're going to have to have people in our army. We're going to have to have people in our army that are willing to get up off their butts and do something. We're going to have to have that. So let's find out tomorrow how many people are really a part of this team. How many people are really wanting to help? And don't look at it like you're helping me. This ain't never been about me. It's been about your country. So with that, folks, I'm going to cross my fingers, pray that tonight I see something yet for me to have seen, which is all of you suiting up and saying, yeah, we're going to get in. We're in. Do it, please. Do it. Are you listening? Do it. I've tried. I try to keep you all a little bit ahead of the curve. Now, I know one of those Agamemnon or whatever his name is does all that riddles and stuff. I don't do that. But I try to give y'all as much information ahead of time as I can so that you're at least ahead of the curve. And I dare you to go back and look at everything I've said since the first day you ever heard my name and see how much of it has actually come to pass. I think you'll find that it's almost always come to pass. So help me. Help me help our country. This I ask. Good day.